Hi, this is Romain Goulon, and we're here today to talk about polyrhythms uh, again. So that's the part two of the, the two videos about polyrhythms. Uh, the first one was a two against three polyrhythm. I don't know if you watched it. You don't have to watch it, but it's maybe better to get used to it and get some patterns. It's up to you. OK, today we're going to take another example. It's going to be three over four, OK? And then we'll take another example. OK, uh, I want to show you a simple rule, a simple way of thinking the polyrhythm. Because obviously, when you take, for example, three and four, there is no obvious relationship, OK? So basically, what you have to do when you have three and four, or five and four, etc., you have to find the least common multiple, OK? So three and four is three by four equals 12. So let's take this uh, first example. Um, if you take three by four is 12, you have 12 hits to divide into three hits on the hi-hat, for example and uh, divide into four hits on the snare. OK, so you gain three against four on the snare, OK? So I'm going to show you some uh, exercise, some, um, a good way to practice it, in fact. Uh, what I do is uh, play with the click. So you're going to hear a nice woman. She's really pretty. You can't see her, but I can tell you, OK? She's going to count for us. And um, basically, what we're going to do is take 12 hits. But the thing is, 12 hits is a little bit long to count, you know? So we're going to take uh, six and six. And we're going to see what's, uh, what's going on. OK. OK, so let's take those 12 hits. Uh, as I said, it's going to be six and six. So the right hand is going to play one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we, 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 we're going to put the metronome on, and, uh, and, sh and I'm going to show you. And the left hand is going to play one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have a sheet, a sheet of paper because basically it's not in my head, you know? I play it with feeling, so <laughs> I have to, uh, to analyze it. And if I play the metronome, it sounds like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Three, four, five, six, one, two, 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 three. Okay. And uh, why not a little faster or maybe a lot faster, actually? Uh, let's see, 210 maybe? One, two, three, four, five, six, 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 one, two, three. Without. OK, my goal is not to play it fast, but um, we can even imagine a blast beat like that, you know? It's a little bit weird, but why not? The thing is, uh, I tried to play the accent, the one, a um, little louder, you know? So you get the, the first beat very clear.
And the next example uh, will be five against four. That's the same story. Uh, you have to find the least common multiple. So five by four is 20. 20 hits, it's uh, pretty long to count. So um, same story than before. We're gonna take 10 and 10, okay? So let's set up the metronome. <coughs> so let's start and analyze the, the stuff. So same shit of paper with uh, some, uh, some notes, okay? So what I did is, um, yeah, I took 10 and 10. So the right hand is gonna play, is gonna divide um, into uh, four, four hits, and the left hand is gonna divide into five hits, okay? So basically what we're gonna have is um, the right hand playing one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, etc. So left, uh, the left hand is going to play one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, etc. Okay. So let's see how it sounds with the nice woman on the metronome. One, two, three, four. So as you can see, it's very, very difficult because it's very slow. But at the same time, it's very important to uh, to work on it very slow, you know. So we are on 90 BPM. We're going to speed it up uh, as before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two. It's 140. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, a lot faster. Okay, maybe you start to hear it. I'm, I'm gonna play it without metronome. Um. So now what you're going to do is uh, practicing a 3 over 4 or 5 over 4 by just switching the snare with the foot, the right foot, the right kick, okay? Sounds like this.
Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, have a good practice and see you next time. Uh, the next video will probably be uh, some examples of patterns with those uh, polyrhythms. So um, you guys enjoyed and see you next time. Bye.